Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, and welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. We're excited about our guest, <laughs> Ashley Carver Olson, who's got an incredible story, actually, to tell about a business venture, and she's from Hopkinton, and we're delighted to meet you. Thank you for having me. It's absolutely, so absolutely. <laughs> so you, you're homegrown? Yes, grew up here my whole life, yeah. yes. Okay, graduating yeah. class of? 06. 06, yes. and the 06ers yes. out there? Or the yeah. kids. Well, I'm 09. See, my last one was 09. Yeah. And yeah. I was 07. Oh, okay. So yeah. here, my son was here behind you, and then 09 and yeah. 12. Yeah. But so were you, were, were you born in Hopkinton? I was, Okay, yes. wow, yep. all right. my whole life. Okay, yep. and so tell us a little bit about your, your journey after high school. Yeah, so after high school, I actually went to beauty school. Oh, cool. I got my license in cosmetology. Mm -hmm. um, shortly after, I just realized it wasn't really my calling. Your hair's beautiful, by Thank the way. You. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I kind of uh, just fell into photography. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of family members. My mom's an amazing photographer. My grandfather was a photographer for the police um, station here in town. Oh, he was nice. a police officer, oh, so, interesting. Yeah, I have a lot of background in family and photography. A lot of so. that artistic. Yeah. Did, did you take photography in high school? Just I wonder. did. You I did. did. Okay. Yep. What a phenomenal loved program. It. It yes. Was, it was so much fun. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. That's so cool. And other than the high school, did you have any formal training or just you, um, you know, the guidance of, of your... Yeah, I took a lot of um, workshops here okay. and there. A lot of uh, self-taught, um, yeah. reading a lot of articles and doing some workshops here and there. And, and, yeah. and what kind of camera do you gonna, use? Oh. What kind of equipment? Um, yeah, so right now I work with Nikon. I have a okay. Nikon D700. Uh -oh. And I have a 35 <laughs> milliliter lens. Yep. You know, them. Yeah, I what love it. What type of photography do you like doing? Um, so right now I really love like a lifestyle feel. So mm -hmm. I love to shoot in homes. Mm. I love to you know, families when they're you know baking cookies or watching a movie, reading books. Like, oh, I love that kind okay. of type of. Yeah. yeah, so I do a lot of maternity and newborn. Um, I only do a, a few weddings okay. right now. Yeah. You do, you do some of the um, high school portraits too, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, Ooh, I love that. That's fun. I'm really <laughs> trying to venture into that a lot more this year. Great. So, yeah. so you have a studio? Do you have to, I don't. Yeah. I'm just on location. Okay. So, oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. So when and how did you get into this interesting venture? And then you got to tell us all about it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So Beauty Revived is a, uh, a magazine that uh, focuses on telling stories about real women with real beauty. So photographers are chosen all over America and they are given, um, they give a session to a deserving woman, mother, child, whatever the campaign focuses on. So this focuses on mothers. Mm -hmm. And they did um, one last year, which I was also chosen for. I chose my Nana, my oh. grandmother. And um, so yeah, they get, the mothers get pampered, they get a session and they get put in a magazine. Beautiful. So when Beautiful. you do that session, do, the, do you do it locally or do you go to like New York or somewhere? Um, I'm usually locally. Mm -hmm. um, I, my, my grandmother's, we did at Western Nurseries last mm -hmm. year. Well, we're going to show that picture. So, yes. so who, yes. did all the, who did all the pampering and all that for her? Um, well, I didn't do it <laughs> last year, but this year I plan on doing, um, mm -hmm. um, hooking up with a makeup and hairdresser. Cool. Okay. So a question, yes. to back up a little bit, you had to apply Correct. to be part of this. So talk Correct. about that process mm -hmm. and, so, and what you did yep. and how that went and your experience. Yeah, so we, um, a lot of photographers apply for this, probably like a ton for each state, I want to mm -hmm. say. Oh, so um, it's by state? It is by state, one by, one state. by state. So each wow. one has one in there, yeah. Um, so they announced that they were doing the campaign for Beautiful Mothers and asked for people to apply. And um, I kind of waited because I did the last year's one, so I wasn't sure. So um, I just jumped in and decided to enter and sent some of my work and my website for them to look over and kind of they chose from there. So wow. that's incredible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now you're twice or three times selected. So I did the Beautiful Mothers last year, and mm -hmm. I also did uh, Most Beautiful Women. So okay. they do, and wow. they also do Most Beautiful Children. Okay. Well, people will we'll show pictures. And the beauty, but this is a beautiful, the beauty is also based on like what you would think model beauty, which I think right. is what is the neat right. thing about it. And right. It's about think, community. Yeah, and society really does have beauty. like a warped concept of oh, beauty. Some beautifully and diverse. We're looking women. for more like women that give back to their community and help others, lift others up, and. Absolutely. You know, young and older. Yes. You know, just yes. a full array of yes. beautiful 
normal women yeah. that are yeah. just gorgeous because of who they are and what exactly. they're doing. Yeah. 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 Oh. Where's her Nana? Did you find her? Yeah, just yeah, find her in here. Yeah, zoom we'll in on this. That, we'll put that, yeah. So that's that's cool. picture is, of that, that, is, that, is, yeah. that, is that Mrs. Carver? Yes. Uh, Hi, Mrs. Carver. <laughs> Hi, Doris. Yeah. Meet Doris. Aww, yeah. Meet Doris. She's here in town. She yep. is, yes. Oh, so who Love writes it. the bio that's in there? I do, yes. You do that, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, photographer and writer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then show the other one, just when we're right oh, here. Your niece. We'll find it. She's gorgeous. So, yes. what a beautiful that's picture. Adorable. Yeah. She's seven. Yeah. Oh, she's so she looked cute. like she enjoyed that. Yeah, she loves it. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. So a model My nephew, in the not as much, but now you have a child about the same age. No, I have a two-year-old. A two-year-old. Oh, okay. Yes, he's little and a handful, but I love him to death. <laughs> oh, what's, what's his name? Of you Shane. Do. Shane. Yep. So. Um, is your husband from Hopkinton? Um, he's actually from Ashland. Oh, no. You got the Darlene's from Ashland. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. over the line, a actually. Bit of a rivalry okay. when we started dating. Yeah. 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 Football, now, how did you meet him? Yeah. Um, my cousin goes to Ashland. Got so it. when he was in high school, um, I met him through my cousin. So, so you yeah. kind of dated him in high school? I did. Oh, oh I did. Did. We've been, we've been did he go to prom with you? <laughs> I went, he went to my prom. Oh, yeah. So he was in enemy territory. Yeah. Oh, We've been together God. 11 years. Wow. Wow. Time, yeah. Yeah. My little cousin that like like she's always said cuz she um lives in Maryland. She just posted a picture of her and her husband who have been together for 17 years and they have like a 6-year-old or 4-year-old. They went to their first dance was their high school Valentine's dance. He was 16 and she was 14. Wow. And stuff, you know, and she's now a, you know, now the, she's been a teacher for a while. Her first like graduating, she teaches like second grade. Her first graduating class was last year. And she's like, oh my God, I'm old. And look at this. But it was like these goofy pictures of like yeah. her in a red dress and I'm in a bright red tie. And it's like, people, right. that's okay. the whole life. Uh, yes. that. Oh, but yeah. actually, that's really common in Ashland and Hoppington. One, a lot of dating between the two towns, but also yeah. a lot of high school sweethearts are True. married. Thank Out of my yeah. graduating class, it was only 108 of us. Right. And we have five couples married. Wow. That's, a wow. that's a huge percentage yeah, out of that. It is, that's, actually. Wow. I mean, that's, my, Kira talks about that in terms of some of the, her friends who stayed in town and mm -hmm. got married and so forth. I mean, mine didn't. They moved immediately. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's very common in small towns yeah. that you've, yeah. you've built yeah. these it bonds. It's a, it's, yes. The friendships are really there. And these kids come back, and these are still their friends. Whether they've gone away to college, they come back to right. these friends. Right, they come back, yeah. Yes. yes. So, on the Beautiful Mom campaign, mm -hmm. there are some criteria. Yes. So talk about what it is that the campaign is looking for and the candidates you're hoping to find. Okay, yeah, um, I want to find a mother who, you know, goes above and beyond for others, someone who gives back to their community. Uh, maybe they're going through a hardship and they still look past that and mm -hmm. think of others first. So mm -hmm. I want to know, like, you know, how they impacted your life whoever's nominating them. Cool. So, yeah. Cool. So that'll be a tough choice. I know. Because there's some active women doing wonderful really things in town. Cool. I'm so yeah. excited to see all the nominations oh, that yeah. went through them. So what's your deadline? When would you like things to um, come in and so forth? So I'm taking them until about March 12th. Okay. Oh, wow. And then okay. we'll, yes. Yeah. So we need to get them in quick. Um, and what should people send in send to you? Um, they, can, they can go to my um, website. It's we'll ashleyolsonphotography.com. Uh, okay. And um, just send me a note. Just send me, you know, a little bit of a paragraph about the mom. And, and maybe a picture of some yeah, yeah, they can send me a picture. Um, yeah, we just want to know, like, deep down what they're about. Oh, good. Yeah. Very, cool. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, very nice. That's, that's wonderful. So what's going on with you? But, but, for you've fun. got what a two-year-old. So. <laughs> two two. <laughs> so is your husband home with the two-year-old while you're here with us? Um, he's actually at work. My mom's home. Oh, yes. well, see, that's so convenient too. Yes, Having close family, close yeah. by. Yes, Absolutely. I love my mom. She does like so much for me. I oh. don't know what I, I would mean, do that. I mean, that was her. so convenient too for us. Like yeah. when we first had kids too. It's like, and even when we wanted to get away, yes. well, the first few years we were married, we'd go to Vegas or something like that, and my parents had the oh, kids. Rub yeah. it in. Yeah. So I like that because you. we are we ever. <laughs> Now, now they're now they're now they're in their 80s and they're like, yeah, no. Yeah, my, they're all, my kids are also older now. But I mean, they, by the time they were about 10, we're like, no, we're done. You know. Yep. 
So, <laughs> you're lucky. so you um, so you have a two-year-old, your husband, do. and I'm assuming your husband's family is still around here. Yeah, so you have yep, both they're in Ashland, uh, yeah. nearby. Yes. No, any siblings? Makes holidays easy, too. Um, yeah, I have a sibling. Um, and That's how she got the niece. Yep, and I <laughs> right. my, 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 my husband's side. He <laughs> has, he's one of four. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, so. So when you were growing up, this is always the challenge here in town, and you've seen some changes. Yes. So as you look at some of the changes, what are some of the good changes that you feel you're seeing happening here that... Uh, I'm assuming yeah. you yeah. participate in the 300th. Yes. And yeah. So talk about that. Yeah, because yeah. I think like. my kids. It, it has changed a lot since we were. Yeah. I mean, it was a totally different Bill's Pizza when we yeah. were growing up. Oh, my up. goodness. Oh, nice. And, you know, yeah. um, I mean, the thing that just stays the same is the community and mm -hmm. how everyone just stays together. Yeah. and. Um, there's always something going on, which I love. You know, in the summer, I love to go down to the common and listen to the music or oh, go to the good. farmers yes. market. Yes. My husband loves that. Right. So. Well, so I was going to say that when you were growing up, what did you what do you remember best about growing up in Hopkinton? What did you um, love most about it? I mean, it, the best thing was my f best friend was right down the street from me, okay. so we would always hang out. And um, we would always, like early release, that was the thing. That was the thing. Early release. Early release. Yeah, early release. Even now, like early release, you know, especially when you get like seventh, eighth grade, yeah. they oh. think walking to Bills oh, is, is the best. Yes. Yes. They are the hottest yes. tickets in town. still the, the best, best thing when you know, I was growing up. You know, like <laughs> my daughter's so a excited. sophomore yeah. now, and it's like, now they actually walk the other way. They actually walk off a water, water fresh, fresh and oh, things yeah, like really? that oh, because that it's something different to do. Yes. And as soon as it's warm, it's always snappy dogs now. They oh, just, yeah. they, yep. they, it's Love a, the stuff, dogs. but yeah. One so of my girl, friends. This, yeah. this, so we all can relate it to yes, so great. So, yeah. so Allegra, did you? Yes, yeah. I graduated Are you about to yes. say one of my friends? It's like, I know who you're talking about. Allegra, yeah. Allegra, yeah. Love her. What else did you like to do growing up here? Um, Back when there was like Brigham's. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we loved going there. We have to get the spoon to open and see I if they're going to yeah, serve ice cream. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. You have the silo at Waterfresh, yes. so they right. have the idea. Yeah. Yes, yes. So with your two-year-old now, what do you like to go do, and, um, and where so do you we, like to of go? Of course, we go to Yogurt Beach. That's like oh, yeah. one of his favorite things to do. I can't let him like do it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but he loves that. Um, yeah, he loves. We love to go to the common. We go to you know the state park. Just a lot. Say, yeah, 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 yeah. He's um, a bit of a runner, so. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Run, run. Yes, yes. The energy, let it go. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. yeah. So do you want to have more children? Um, in yeah, the yeah, in the future. Yeah. yeah. Tough okay. question. <laughs> I, think, I think we'll yeah. wait a little while. Oh, no pressure. No pressure. Um, I'm just curious. Yeah, definitely, definitely I'm, want more. I'm sure the grandparents yeah. are like, yeah, yeah exactly. Sure. Yeah, my so mom this, is probably. That's a hard question. So I'm, 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 do you want grandchildren? Eventually, yeah. When my kids are ready, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm the same way. I'm like, oh, please. I'm going to have grand puppies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I pretty much think I know what you're doing the day after Thanksgiving then this year. <laughs> Isn't this going to be your 10th reunion year? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yep. And um, oh yeah. typical so for this area is our reunions are yeah. Thanksgiving weekend because kids right. still come home to yeah. come home yeah. to their families. I love that. So Ashland, Hopkinton, I know Natick, Wellesley. Um, I think Southboro does all, all our reunions are always on Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. So, yeah. So, um, I love that. That's and cool. a lot of it because we've actually included Hopkinton and some of the surrounding Holliston's been involved in some of our reunions because some of these kids, you know, our classes were so small. Yeah. Well, sports teams. You, and ho well, yeah. no, it had nothing. It had to do with it because um, our, the Holliston, Hopkinton, and Ashland divided themselves up that some of these kids went to Keefe, some went to Marion, oh, things I, like yeah, that. Right, but we yeah. were all together. As until little eight, kids. Yeah. Until eighth yeah. grade. So we try to bring all these kids back, and then you build relationships between these three towns pretty close. Yeah. yeah. How fun. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I always I'm love I'm, pl I, when, when I'm like, planning a 35th. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, you're planning. I always think about yeah, when my yeah. kids were growing I up here. I want to say which one I'm coming town, up on. Because I'm from a, you know, a more yeah. of an urban area in Ohio growing up in oh, Minneapolis okay. and so forth. But here, you know, when the kids learned to drive and when they were running around meeting friends, I felt like they stayed in the neighborhood because they yeah. really didn't. Mm -hmm. well, my kids, I mean, they pretty much stayed in Hopkinton. Yes. So I knew they were just across this end yes. or the other. And, you, you know, in five minutes they could be home. The big, so it's just, yeah. I love yes. that. The I love big that. thrill, and I remember this, is when they learned to drive, <laughs> right. they would all couldn't have any friends in the car. So you all 
like <laughs> drive individuals. <laughs> but to yeah, go to hard. Wendy's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. that was the nearest yeah. fast food restaurant. Right. There, did you guys do that? Yes. I mean, I remember. Yeah. 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 Well, they, they run to later. Wendy's on yeah. lunch breaks in the high school. Yeah. yeah. And exactly. so, it's, it's cheap. They go to get the dollar menu. Oh, and they yeah. run. It's like, oh, it's cheaper than like buying school lunch. Yeah. And so I'm like, I'm like, yeah, all right. You're spending it in gas. So, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So when you went to cosmetology school, was it local or where did you go? Um, I went to Blaine oh, in okay. Framingham. It's now another. I can't remember the name, but yeah, it's another company now, but um, yeah, I met some really good friends there that and, I still... And did you focus on, what did you focus at cosmetology um, school? What was your focus? Hair. We did touch on some other stuff, <laughs> okay. mainly um, cutting hair, coloring hair. What was it that turned you off of wanting to do it as a career? Um, I don't know. I just like, once I graduated, I didn't really see like a passion for it, yeah, I guess. You didn't like, feel it, yeah. like the, what I feel about photography. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I can very much, you know tell the two apart right in yeah that sense. that's that's um, the real key yeah absolutely yeah. well so the, uh, honestly you're young you uh, I see your name out there a lot yeah. especially when it's when it was college uh, high school graduation yes time, mm. that your name was coming up coming a lot up, yeah. and um, there was a lot you had to do to get to this point you had to build a website yes. build a fan, you know yes. following and stuff like that. did yeah. you do, did were you able to do all that yourself did you have to outsource all the um, stuff yeah, yeah no I haven't outsourced to anything yet um, I've been I have an amazing, amazing mentor. Mm -hmm. um, she lives in North Carolina, oh, and tell she's, us. A, she's an amazing photographer. Her name's Katie Myrick. Mm -hmm. And um, how'd you meet her? Um, I met her through the Inspiration Cafe, which is a photographer community on Facebook, okay. kind of like oh, what you guys see? have. But yeah. Wow! For photographers. Yeah, I and know. social um, media is wonderful. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. So mm -hmm. I met her. We did web chats. She taught me basically like everything I know. G gave me that really kick in the butt to this is get my incredible. thing started. Oh, yeah. I love that story. Absolutely. So you met her online through yes. the Inspiration Cafe on yes. Facebook. So have you met her face to face? Not yet. Wow. We're hoping to this summer. So really that's I mean, I mean, that's social media relationship. No, um, probably like a year or two. It's, and yeah. it, it, and it's tell wonderful. you know what are her accomplishments? I mean, how has she, she, in the magazine? she has been in the magazine yeah. for oh. yes. So um, did yeah. she encourage you to apply, or, or was this prior um, to her post? Ha she has before, yes. Previously, she has um, um, told me to put myself out there. You know, yeah. get featured, try mm -hmm. to get featured. You know, you you won't regret it. I mean, even if you get a no, that's just more encouragement yeah, just get to it go out there. forward. Yeah. So are you doing any other programs where you're trying to get yourself um, um, published or, or featured? Or? Um, not yet. Um, taking it a little bit slow because okay. I'm a little nervous, but I hope to get out there more. And yeah. yeah. Well, this is quite yeah. an accomplishment. Yeah, totally. Thank you. Very Thank you. Totally. Um, and, and as you think about your next steps, if you could fast forward two or three years, What's the, what would you be doing in, in, in the you know in the photography space and and you know where would it be taking you? Yeah, I really I just want to really get my name out there. I okay. want to be known mm -hmm. as you know a photographer. You know when they hear my name, they know what right. I do. Right. Like that's you know I want to be known. Build your brand. Yes, build absolutely. My brand. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Are you, are you looking mm -hmm. to do mostly personal, or do you want to eventually be a oh, photographer publication. That in publications and people want you to do you know, like like Annie Leibovitz, you right. know, yeah. like, like yeah. her, you yeah. know, yeah. she does all the, right. the major, I mean, she doesn't go, you know, to war zones or anything like that, right. right. people come to her, or she goes to them photo sessions, but they yes. get published, you know, and famous yeah. people want her. I would love her. that, I would love to do is that, that yeah, sort of the style like, I think of this is kind of my stepping stone mm -hmm. for that, mm -hmm. and to, you know, So when this forward. magazine comes out, how do people get it? Um, so I will al always share links to how to get it on my um, Facebook page. Okay. Um, but is it like in Barnes and Noble? Is it in these um, different outlets? It's usually outlets? just online right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But yeah, but the actual book, the hard copy. Yeah. It? The yes. hard copy. Yep. You, you can get those um, you order it online through the Beauty Revive site. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. they'll send it to you. It's, oh, yeah. Cool. Awesome. That yeah. is so exciting. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. it. Are I'm there so any other particular uh, publications or opportunities that you're coveting right now, or kind of wishing, or? looking forward um, to? I mean, I would love to venture more into like the senior scope of it, like do more senior photography. Wow. Oh, wow. And, um, sure, there's a they wonderful do, opportunity Yeah, they, they've done a uh, Most Beautiful Seniors too, and they um, Beauty Revive actually gave away scholarships for some of the seniors. Wow. They High chose. school seniors. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh I okay. see. Okay. Senior, yes. senior, yes. senior, yes. senior citizens. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that is a novel idea that for is a young woman. Why yeah. not? You know? Mm-hmm. And, I, and I know, like, we're friends with Bernadette Marky. She does yes, a lot I of that, too. Her. Yeah, yeah, I love her. Yeah, she's awesome. She actually did my son Yeah, last and year. she's done our she's photographs amazing. and my she's family. Yeah, she yeah. is amazing. Very much natural light and well, organic, where you like to go inside at a home. Yeah, I love to do both, but I do love that home style. But you said natural lighting as well. So talk about that style versus, like, the studios. Yeah. I just love that like natural feel, um, what it gives a photograph. Mm-hmm. And what does it give a photograph? I don't, I'm a stupid. I don't <laughs> understand. You know how does I mean, it? It's how just does that it's a glow. It's a glow. It's, it's, it's and soft. It's soft yes. and that like breeze of light instead of. You know, like the like a like harsh what we have light. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think about yeah, what our photo- our wonderful photographer who did natural light with us last yeah, year, no, and you, I, you I know how soft yeah. it is. Hear Ashley's yeah. perception of yeah. it. So yeah, very cool. Very Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. So. What's going on in town? You yeah. were talking oh, about. Yeah, we always have to kick it uh, uh, or wind well, things up. Well, in a week is the HEF gala. The on the 27th. Yeah. The adults. So if you haven't got your ticket, you missed the discount. Prom. But yeah. there's, still some t- there's still tickets available. And, um, just right. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there, I think. You going to go? You going to go? You going to yeah, go? You going to go? Yeah. I'm going to go. It's a good cause to support, obviously, and it's a lot of fun. I got an email yesterday, which is kind of exciting. March 11th. Will be the actual groundbreaking for the library. Oh, oh yay! Yeah. 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 That's oh, awesome. Groundbreaking. Whether it's frozen <laughs> solid or not, Jack <laughs> yeah. yeah. um, Actually, that's how it's going to be. Yeah, there'll be backhoes and everything else coming in. So, um, I've been invited to be there for the groundbreaking. Yeah, so I'll be sure going and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to do a shout out to Dick Duggan for what we did last yes. night and. It, is, it was a bipartisan event, but it was organized by the Hopkinton Democratic Committee. Um, this getting neighbors together to meet mu- local mu- Muslim leadership was amazing. What started off as a committee of like eight to ten of us getting together, we had 72 people at the town hall. Yeah, it was, pretty um, it was standing, standing room, room only. Wow. It was mm-hmm. very cool, and thanks to Dick, really over six months ago picking up the phone has actually set the pace for other organizations right. and them even picking up the phone calling out to people yeah um it was really, i just want props to the committee for coming up with that it was an enjoyable event we learned a lot patricia we, moderated and helped facilitate some of the questions but, um but everyone i mean i think it just opens up a lot of other questions that we'll have to explore and want to get to know the community a little getting, bit more. yeah getting That's to know right. the community and, and, yeah, and, and our neighbors I th- yeah and i think you know there's going to be some interfaith things happening with um in town i know that um they're actually coming on to all about hoffington here at h camp oh and yeah. so shout out to h camp for also reaching out and trying mm-hmm. to and putting together okay. an interfaith um yeah. right to show all about hoffington and where the different faiths are and how we're all still neighbors um, March 4th, HCA, HCA starts a series. Okay. Um, the yep. library has, um, on the 24th, a adult coloring thing. It's free. Oh, oh that's cool. Yeah, before that, we have the princess tea. The, mm-hmm. the, no, the, the princess tea March. Yeah, March. Yeah, you said March 4th, but March 12th. Oh, before that, March 12th, after that, is the princess tea. Yeah, but, it, but February 24th is the coloring day. Oh, <laughs> I thought the coloring day was March. Sorry, no, no. sorry. Um, February yeah, 24th. Yeah, yeah, indeed. It's fun. They clear right, because I have um, a question, too. What was the HCA thing? Is that the coloring, or is that something no, else? No, the HCA is um, going to be a new exhibit um, that will open the first Friday, and it will also have an open, it, open mic series starting March 4th oh, at okay. HCA. So that's going to be starting up. Um, it's been school vacation week, but sports were still going on. So I guess the swim team did fabulous, the basketball yep. team did fabulous, nice. indoor track did fabulous. So, oh, you yeah. know, these kids are going back as, you know, hopefully getting a ton of accolades and stuff like that. Some of our kids came in top, um, wrestling just finished last night. Wow. Um, for the whole season. Village town. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, no, it was, it was good, you know, a good sports week, even though it was vacation week, a lot of people traveling. So I think going into next week, it's like a, a whole kind of like wake up call of things going on in the community. Yeah. But um, I think it, you know it's 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 low key for the February is always kind of quiet. You know, yeah. HEF is going on. <laughs> um, Tuesday is actually the Chinese New Year at the library on the twenty third. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, the coloring for grown ups is at the library on the Wednesday. The um, there's a public forum going on for the Lake Weeds. Um, oh, and back up on the library, it's still at the temporary location. It'll be so at the another going year there yeah. over yeah. on South yeah. Street. Yeah. Since we're groundbreaking the new the new one um, on the 11th, um, the South Street location is actually going to be in existence for about a year and a half. Yeah, right. yeah. To it two years. Take a while to, oh. yeah. Um, I've been there. I was there for like their official open house with Clifford the dog. 
I'm not quite sure why all the other real dogs came, but um, <laughs> that's my own issue I have to bring up. Um, Ashley will be actually photographing for the Princess um, Tea yes. that's going oh, on. It's a mother-daughter yes. tea. Take a pause. Describe yeah. that. What is that tea all about? The tea yeah. has been going on for years at yeah, the library, and I, library. I went with Melissa when she was little. Oh. It literally is a mother-daughter tea. You dress have you, up. Yeah. Have you done this before? No, I haven't. They um, reached out and asked if I wanted to help. Take help pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Take pictures, and I'm, I love that kind of stuff, oh, so sure. I'm right on board. <laughs> You know, there's but, always uh, newcomers in town. This, yeah. would be, this is a new event, too. To I know that I believe the teddy bear picnic is coming up at the Faith Community Church, which I used to do with my son. I never oh, ended up doing yeah. it with my daughter. Wow. And then, so there's a lot of fun things. I, I want to just recommend people, you know, going on the HCAM's website. It's HCAM. It's, um, hcam.tv. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a today's happening, some things going on in your community. There's also on the local channel. There's a planning calendar of local events every day, you know, between these programs going on. But literally, you can scroll down of a calendar of events, and you'll find little niches of things going on that you can get involved in. I know that you know, mm -hmm. Western Nurses will be starting up their spring classes probably the end of March, and mm -hmm. they haven't started hosting them yet. Right, and that's those the Western Nursery classes are awesome you can learn so much about um, so many different things it's not um, just you know right. other upcoming planting. things is you know march 1st we do have a presidential primary coming up oh yeah. um, vote, 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 vote. Please, please. <laughs> uh, you know yes, regardless everybody. of where you're going voting <laughs> get out and vote get out and vote we have a town election on may 16th there's still pl there's still actually spots for people to pull papers mm -hmm. and that have that have no one running so you know, think about it. get involved. There, there's opportunities to always serve our community. Um, all right. Actually, I think almost all of us have done stuff serving on our community yep. in some ways. Yeah. So but thank you so much. There's a lot going on. We really uh, run out of time. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for Ashley, joining thanks us. for joining. Thank us. you guys thank so you. much for having me. Right. <laughs> Good to see you. Come back again. Hi, I'm Jen Belisi from Golden Pond Assisted Living in Hopkinton. Staying active is essential to happy and healthy aging. Golden Pond has activities for seniors and people of every age. Different people have different uh, interests and different requirements. There is a, a diverse range of opportunities to be had at Golden Pond. I know, I know everybody. I go, go to many activities. I don't like staying home. I go to the cooking class on one day a week. They have different seminars um, that we participate in. Well, we do play bingo like many of the other residents. What do you like best about here? The people. They do nice things here. So we've made some friendships, not acquaintances, real, real friendships. If you'd like to participate in any of Golden Pond's upcoming events, visit the events page on Golden Pond's website or call 508 435-1250 for more information. We hope to see you soon.